The industry had looked and seen that the cellular business was really growing, but staying with analog with first generation FM radios was not the right solution. How do we go digital? Companies around the world had looked at CDMA, played with it a while, and they had all thrown it away, and had gone with TDMA or FDMA. One of the things did catch their attention that rather than perhaps a three to one improvement in the number of customers you could accommodate in a given antenna or in a given bandwidth, with CDMA, we came to the point that would be 10 to 20. It would provide a significant economic advantage by being able to get many more users in the same amount of spectrum. I thought there was about a 50% probability that somebody was going to be able to raise their hand and say, you forgot about this and this is why it's not going to work. Nobody did. So the next step we had to do was build a demonstration system. We worked day and night to prepare two base stations and a mobile terminal for a demonstration. We knew we couldn't wait too long because the industry was rushing ahead with TDMA and if we missed that window, we'd have to wait for a third generation. And so we had to move quickly. In September, I had to make a decision whether to send out invitations for people to come in to see our demonstration at the beginning of November or not. And probably 85 or 90 percent of the engineers felt we better wait and decided to go ahead and send out the invitations. Beginning in November, everybody showed up here in San Diego. We had about 120 people, and we had several people make presentations on CDMA. Then I was making the last presentation and getting ready to send everybody out when one of the engineers in the back of the room began to wave at me and to keep talking. And so I kept talking, being a university professor, adding 45 minutes or 50 minutes to a talk is easy. It was about 50 minutes later, another wave came that it was okay to send people out, luckily. Probably another half an hour, people would have realized something was wrong, and there would have been no Qualcomm.